so hyped up, I think I'm going out. I got one goal, and that's gold. If we ain't into fish, then we're hitting the road. I live the life of a fisherman that never gets old. So welcome to the show. Come on, yo, we're going out. You know, an opportunity to fish with a good friend of mine, Cliff Crochet, AKA Cajun Baby. Another one on full, big one too. Go oh God! Oh my God, giant bro! Gone, gone. I gotta figure now, bro. <laughs> and this is going on at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We like fishing in the bayou. <laughs> yeah! That is a giant, bro. This is one of the That's hardest that, fights I've ever had from no, a fish. Oh and I'm fighting and fighting and fighting. And after about a five okay. minute fight, <laughs> I finally <laughs> now have this fish worn down. But here's the interesting part. The fight's not over because we're fishing this urban canal with these steep banks. And all I keep thinking is, land this fish, Mike, please land this fish, land this, get your hands on him, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! This is a this is a dog picture! Oh god. Oh god. You know, in the world of fishing and filming, whether it's a TV show or a tournament, nothing ever happens this quick. Fishing the canals, this is urban fishing right here. You wanna talk about urban fishing? You wanna talk about street fishing? This is street fishing right here. And I decided to just make a little kind of underhand cast under these root balls, kind of this undercut bank. And all of a sudden, something hits it. It's fighting so different than everything we caught today. I yell at Mike, Mike comes running down, and he's looking, he's looking, and I'm anxious because I want to see what this fish is. My first Jaguar. We're going, Ike. We're in downtown, historic Branson. What's this idiot do? He surprises me and puts me on a pond I've never been on, ever. Get him. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. You want me to lift you? No, swing it. It's a good one. It's a good one. Wow! Nice fish. Hey! <laughs> there is bass in here. Look! That's not a trout. No, that is a largemouth spicy macanus. <laughs> We went out knowing zero about the bass fishery here. Got another one, but it's a big one. We are on them now. I'm on the meat. Look at that one. That's in, De in the Delaware River. That would be a that, giant it right would there. Be, you wouldn't it? Dude, that would win a tournament <laughs> on the Delaware River. Here's one. Dude, can I reel one in? Oh, God, it's a big one. <laughs> Dude, yeah. nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! What's going on? Wow. They, they're, they're months in that. Look at that thing. James is a tournament guy, I'm a tournament guy. Dude, it's always the opposite. You never figure it out on your first stop in the morning. Never give up! Never give up! 
Step up to Exmark, the mowers that have been beautifying landscapes for more than three decades. Featuring high-performance zero-turn riders like the new Exmark Radius, starting at just $49.99. With any Exmark, you'll get a great-looking cut in less time, every time. That's why landscape pros purchase Exmark 2 to 1 over the next best-selling brand. So what are you waiting for? Put an Exmark to work on your property. Find your local dealer or request a free demo today at wearexmark.com. <laughs> Look at that. What a cool fish, dude. Look at the eyeballs on that thing. Wow. Awesome. What a bite man. that was. Oh, he got it again. That was like a better one. And he swings it in. And all of a sudden, I hear Ish get excited. And he's like, he's got an octopus down his throat. I get the pliers and I pull it out. Mike, you need to put the octopus on. Trust me. And I'm leaning down to like grab the octopus and I get this bite. Look at this. I'm oh, good. And you got one. I got it. I got it. I got it. He's got, got one. There's an octopus near my crotch, though. Stay over there, you octopus. Like Blue one and octopus. Part swim bait, part octopus. Come on. Let's go. But I still don't believe that something's going to hit a freaking dead octopus on a jig head. Hopefully he doesn't farm him when he hooks up. It's down there 10 seconds. Got him. Good one. And when I set the hook on this one, I instantly know that this one is a different animal. Look at that thing. Here you go, Mike. I freak out. Jig and puss! Yep, you still got the puss to make you Look at that! that it's the biggest ling cod I've ever caught in my life. That's what it's all about right there, man. Look at that. Saltwater fishing with Ish Monroe. The king of bass fishing, the king of frog fishing, is also the king of ling cod, bro. Ah. Mm. Jig and puss equals giant ling cod. Ah. We're gonna call this one Fetty Wap Eel. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. This is left eye. This is my first fish on a live eel. I'm stoked. It gives me a little bit of confidence. I'm excited. Everything's perfect. And we set up on this drift. We're letting the eel contact the bottom. Get him, Mike. Come on. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, you oh did my it. God. We saw that pig come up, lift it in the boat, and that was it. Got him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> This is a massive beast. Dude, it can't get any better. You know, it could get a little better. Finally, 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 I get one on a rod and reel. I set the hook. This thing is not fighting at all. All of a sudden, he changes his mood and he makes that. this giant run. It heals more line in the course of 10 seconds than any fish I've caught in a long, long time. And I get my first glimpse of this thing. And dude, it's a freaking blimp, man! I don't know how I did it! Oh! <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> Couldn't believe it. 26 pounds. Dude, uh, you know, for me, this show, tournament fishing, fishing in general, for me, is about these moments. These moments that when you close your eyes 10, 20, 30 years from now, I'll remember everything about this fish. You know, that's, that's why I do it. And most of all, I'm getting my revenge. I'm getting my sweet revenge on these fish. Got him. Doubles, doubles. Don't you swing this one. <laughs> we actually have to have doubles. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! It's a four pounder! It's oh, a huge it's one. It's a four pounder! Yeah, oh. you got a second hook in him. I got that sucker. Oh, oh my god. god! Look at that thing! What? Two and a quarter, four and a quarter. There's the difference right there. <laughs> Look him in the sun. What a gorilla. Look how thick he is across the back right there. Yeah, that's a grown one. Yeah. Damn. Look at a DT stuck in his face, too, bro. <laughs> mm. DT 10 in his face! That's the thing about fishing, man. You have you have a bad day, you have a bad tournament, and you come back out and catch them, dude, you just you're instantly revive. Sick, bro.
Now I tell you, this isn't the biggest bass ever caught, but this is one of the most important bass ever caught. My first Japanese bass with my hero. Yes! <laughs> You know, the fishing fish. was really, really yeah. tough. Yeah, and that first day of fishing opened up my eyes to how tough yeah. the bass fishing really was in Japan. Two pounds, 10 pounds. <laughs> Two, Two pounds, pounds 10, 10 pounds. pounds. <laughs> the sun popped out for just a second and I started seeing mats of grass. And I flipped into one of those mats. And as soon as it got through the mat and I gave it one pop, the line jumped. I set the hook on that fish. Man, my rod didn't move. My heart was pounding because I knew sucker. that this was a true oh. Japanese hog. Oh. <laughs> you suck it! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Eight pound fish on Lake Biowa. Man, I came to Japan, I came to Biowa to catch a big one. And I made it happen at the very end of the trip. I did it. 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 That's what I came to Japan for. 6,721 miles for that thing. Look at that. Yummy. <laughs> And about 10 minutes later, doing the same technique, I set the hook on another one. Go and Ike, Japan, Lake Biwa, baby. We're going, Ike. <laughs> and the head bigger! <laughs> what the hell? But one of the things we have working for us is we're fishing jigs. And I can tell you, in all the years that I've fished, when things get tough, when the fishing's tough, dirty water, cold front conditions, everything we're dealing with today, the absolute best bait you can throw is a jig. You are the large mouth fishing. That's it. There you go. That's the one. Giant. Oh! That's the one. Big and John. Bowling good. That's a big one. <laughs> Bam, babe. Nice one. Yeah. Oh, Lord. He wants my lunch. Three plus. Yeah. Three plus, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. On the uh, head banger. Head banger. Get in here, baby. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Get him, John. Get him, John. That's a big one. Oh, big smallmouth. Big smallmouth. Yeah! yeah! Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Ooh, big smallmouth. I knew that was going to happen. Beautiful fish, bro. No! Fishing out of a kayak brings me back to when I was a kid, when I was fishing a lot of the shallow water in South Jersey, the excitement of catching them. 
one of the shows I wanted to film in a kayak was a saltwater show. So looking at the calendar, I saw one of the biggest events in the world for kayak fishing, Hobie Worlds 6. Yeah, yeah. You got one. Got me a red, a little red. Awesome Good fight, vegan. but not the fish we're looking for. You know, I decide to start with a different bait, and I go to a lure that's more of a shad swim bait style lure. Finally, I'm throwing it on a better jig head. I'm throwing it on a VMC jig head. This is a color that Keaton told me to put on. We are in LSU territory. Right. From what I understand, LSU colors work really well in this Louisiana water. And all of a sudden, I get this bite. Uh-oh, that's him. Oh, God, that's him. That's him. Oh, that's him. Please, God, please. And after about 10 minutes, and I'm not exaggerating, after about 10 minutes of fighting, I finally tired down. Oh, no, he's caught on the bottom of the kayak. On your drive. Pop your drive. Pop your drive. <laughs> oh my god, look at that thing! Wow! What a beautiful fish. What a beautiful fish. Man, I tell you, this is uh this is something special. You know, a bass, I'm a bass guy. A two-pounder makes me shake. A two pounder makes me shake. And you come to Louisiana and catch one of the hardest fighting fish out of a kayak? Whew. Bro. Wow! Going Ike. Giant Mississippi River smallmouth on top. Skitter pop. <sighs> Good job, Mike. Okay! Boom! Boom! When you're eating it like that, there's no mistake when you're throwing the right color. Oh, God! Go! Oh, God! Yeah! Yeah! I got I got this here. That thing. Oh, that's a beast. Walking top water. Four pound class smallmouth. In a river. Look at that. Ron's back in a kayak thing, he's going Ike. Okay! I got him. Got one for you, bro. Eat it, good. Beautiful small malt bass, though. They sure put up a fight in these rivers. Hi, my name's a bass, and I love Yards Brew. You got a good one too. Big one. Oh God, big one! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Show the camera how he ate that thing. When you're throwing the right bait, it looks like that. 
<laughs> 10 minutes to go before we had to pull out of that hole. I see Tom's rod and it's bent down. I'm not even catching the fish and I'm excited. And the minute Tom swings that fish over the gunnel and he's in the boat, dude, I let out a girlish scream. Oh! Yeah! There it goes. We made it happen. It we made a prediction. We said first, most, and biggest. I don't know if we had it in the right order, but we had it! Set the hook into a giant boulder. Like giant, giant. Oh my God! Serious? Yay! Oh my God! Bro, you got the middle one, too. Dude, I mean, hammered. Ham town. That's a six pounder. That's a six pounder. Now that's a keeper. And that's species number one. And all of a sudden, my rod just stops. Oh God! And I'm like, am I snagged? And I finally, after like two hours, catch my first keeper of the day. He has a chandelier over his head! and I start fishing this jerk bait. I hook up. I think it's a, a smallie. Oh. oh my gosh, here we are, and I finally caught another bass, and it's the second species of the day. What? It's a small yeah. mouth. Oh, Please be a spot, be a spot. Spot? Is it a spot? Yeah, it is, spot. yeah. Spot. Get in the boat. And, and, and that moment right there, Although the day has been frustrating, our goal was to come to Lake Berryessa to catch the triple threat. And when that spot came in, we did it. And I take you to be my spouse. A. 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 <laughs> Wait, you have to go fishing with me today. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Going Ike, Napa, and I've got two keepers. One there and one here, yeah! Go away, Ike. For information on the product and gear used in this show, go to MikeIconelli.com and follow me on my social feeds, at Mike Iconelli. And if you want to help grow the sport of fishing, get kids involved. Go to theikefoundation.org to figure out information on how you could help get involved in getting kids fishing. Never give up. We never give up, man. University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.